So let's have a look at creating audible books, well more specifically the artwork for the front cover of your audio book that you might put on Audible. If you've gone to all the trouble of creating a book for KDP, or Kindle, um, like that, and you need the audio book, well Audible, which are done through acx.com, have a few technical requirements. And the specifications for creating the cover art associated with an Audible book are as follows. Technical requirements, JPEG, JPG, PNG or TIFF file formats only. No smaller than 2400 by 2400 pixels. Now that's no smaller. Don't put in 2399 pixels, they'll reject it. It has to be at least 2400. And it's always better to have it much larger because you can reduce it down if you need to to 2400, which they'll do, they'll crop it themselves but they won't crop information out of it, they'll just reduce the size. DPI, no smaller than 72. Well, if it was less than that, you probably wouldn't see it anyway. Now, don't worry about what DPI means, just observe the fact that 72 is the lowest you can go. I would suggest 300, DPI is best. 24-bit true color minimum. Don't leave it at 8-bit, which seems to be the default everywhere. Or 16, set it at 24-bit. The colour is RGB colour, not CMYK. It has to be RGB. If any of these things are wrong, they'll reject the image out of hand and you'll spend ages going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Just get it right in the first place. Images must be a true square, not a rectangular image with borders. And they mean true square. As I just mentioned, don't do 2400 by 2399 pixels that's not a true square, it will be rejected because it's machine read. Machines don't care. They'll look at it and they'll say if it's not at least 2400 by 2400, it's not a square and they'll reject it. The file name that you call your image file should be a condensed book title. In other words, I have the Inner Minka affair there, so that'll be the name of the file. No spaces, just one word. Alphanumeric characters only. Don't put in stars, hyphens, underlines. It'll probably be rejected. Now there's an example. I've made that image 7500 by 7500. It's 300 dpi and it's an RGB32 um, type file. Now you can see up in the top right hand corner there, the Transform Studio, I've got 7500 by 7500, nothing less. It's a perfect square. Rectangles won't do. Don't put in a big rectangle and hope they'll reduce it. It'll just be rejected by the machine that reads it. Now, image content requirements. It must contain the name of the title. In other words, when you look at the cover of your audio book on the store it says the inner minka affair it cannot refer to physical media such as cds other than the audio presented that's not confusing and the easiest way around it is just don't mention like this book is held on six cds don't bother it cannot show scans of jewel cases promotional stickers or cellophane so don't show pictures of your work in a CD case, or promotional stickers, or mock-ups. It's just the cover of your book, and no pornographic or offensive materials. Now there's a star there. If any other credits are included on the cover, for example, a subtitle or primary or secondary author names, you can see I've got the primary author name there, that's me, they must match the audiobook's opening and closing credits exactly. Now, when the book opens, it says, this book was written by Robert Chalmers. Now, that's in the audio section, so we don't need to worry about that. When you get to doing your audio book, <laughs> you'll get all the information you need on it from their site. Now, this is directly from the ACX help file. This is an example of an acceptable cover art. This image would be accepted into production. 
It's not to scale, by the way. Audible may choose to include an additional graphic on the lower right corner of your audiobook's cover art, and you've often seen those little advertising blurbs and things they put there. You may wish to avoid placing important production credits in the red area shown in the above example to avoid any disruption. That's it. Thanks for watching. Audiobooks are fun. Let's hope you get into it and have some fun creating an audio version of your latest book. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.